Hello everybody and you're welcome. So today I'm going to start a new tutorial series and uh, that is about uh, the multi-site feature in EasyPublish 5 which allows us to create several websites using just one EasyPublish installation. So that is possible by using the EasyPublish site access system which is basically a set of settings that tells ZPublish how to behave according to the URL that we are accessing. So in part one, I'm going to show how to display the content in another language using a new site access. And uh, in part two, I'm going to show how to add a new site access that uses a custom root node in part three how to add a new site tax that uses a different database and in part 4 how to add a new site tax that uses a different layout or bundle so uh, let's start by showing how to add a new site tax so here is basically an overview how to do this we need to change the easypublish underscore uh, environment.yml file and uh, just change this thing here just keep in mind that if, if you are using my easy publish project to take base bundle you need to change the twig.yml file and add the locale the new site access locale to that file so uh, ah, another thing is that uh, if you add a new site taxes that uh, uses the URI system that means that uh, you are going to access the new site taxes by typing the host name and uh, slash the site access name like this site admin tells easy approach that we are using the site admin site taxes and uh, if you will leave this blank it tells EasyPubs that we are using the default site taxes or you can put another site tax in this case I'm going to add a new site taxes named the Portuguese and uh, you can see here that it's not working yet um, but we can also check that the default site taxes is the site one and it displays content in English and uses the English locale. So let's start. Um, we need to open this easy publish underscore dev because I'm using the dev environment, but uh, you can do this in another environment as well. So I'm going to put this Portuguese here. Also, I'm going to put Portuguese here. Portuguese to the front end group. As well, the full site taxes. I mean, uh, I'll just leave site. Uh, I'm going to put this Portuguese, which means that I, if I access the host slash Portuguese, it tells us the to use the Portuguese site taxes. We are not going to use the host match uh, yet, but uh, I'm planning to show this in the last tutorial. So now we need to add the Portuguese site access here. I will just copy the same settings for this site. Um, actually, I could put this in the front end group. Okay, so I don't I don't need to repeat the same settings for both websites. Uh, I'm going to remove this one. Oh no, I'm still, I'll copy uh, this one here over the site group and I will specify the language in the site, not for the group because I want uh, that uh, we don't use the group settings for the site, site access. So I'm going to put Portuguese here and um, I will use the power beer 
language. Let's check if everything is okay. Um, it looks nice. Everything looks nice. Now I need to change my twig file here in my project because uh, I need to specify the locale. So Portuguese here and the locale pt br. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to add the Portuguese language in the site admin interface so i go here setup language and uh, add language brazilian portuguese here also i need to change um, actually create a new translation here for the home page uh, base my translation the english version and uh, now I'll put uh, something like here, this, and the uh, window, and um, I'll just let this blank. Send for publish. Now I have the, the home page in both Portuguese and English. In this project, I want uh, that if you, the content does not exist in Portuguese, I want that easy publish shows uh, the Portuguese and English content. So if the content has a Portuguese translation, then this publisher will pick up the Portuguese translation. But if uh, the content does not have uh, a Portuguese translation, then this publisher will pick up the English one. So in language here, uh, languages, I need to add NGB here. And um, yeah, I believe that that is it. Just remember to remove the languages for the site group because uh, we put the Portuguese site in that group. So we now need to specify the language um, in the site access settings itself. So now I need first to run the publish console cache clear, then assets install and then asset dump and uh, I believe now I'm able to test it so this is the English one you can see that uh, nothing has changed but now we are going to test the Portuguese one now you can see that uh, the locale is working so we are using twig strings translations and also we are using we are seeing the portuguese version of uh, the home page actually the portuguese translation of uh, the home page so we are seeing this translation here olá bem vindo and uh, in the english site axis we are seeing this the english translation and also we can see that uh, the english objects are still being displayed here because uh, we want that uh, the english objects are displayed if we, the object does not uh, have a portuguese translation so i believe uh, that is it. Uh, I had another uh, another slide here, but uh, we did it already. So it's easy to add a new site tax that displays the content in another language. And in the next tutorial, I will show how to add a new site axis that uses a custom root node. So in this case, our site axis is using this node as the root node but we could use uh, any node as the root node so see you in the next tutorial and uh, bye bye